baked with cream and flavored with mango. This dessert has a creamy texture and amazing flavor which comes from mango. It is a delicious and healthy recipe that you can have anytime, any day. I especially love baking this in summers because addition of mangoes take this recipe to another level. Every Friday, I bring you a brand new 100% eggless baking recipe. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then subscribe it now. So today's recipe is baked mango yogurt. For this, we need 150 gram hung curd. In case you don't have hung curd, you can use regular curd. But I prefer using hung curd because that gives the thick and creamy texture to my uh, baked yogurt. Along with this, I need 100 gram mango puree. Uh, to make this, I just chop the mango and pulse it in mixer grinder. I didn't add any additional sugar or any sweetener. So it's just mango pulp. Here I have a 50 gram uh, fresh cream. I'm not using any whipping cream or dairy free cream. To add the sweetness and richness, I will be using 80 gram condensed milk. So no need to add any powdered sugar or honey. So 80 gram of condensed milk will be, milk will be sufficient. Let's start making it. As a first step, Add hung curd to the bowl. Look at the texture. It's quite thick. Along with this, add fresh cream. Now, I'm going to add the entire mango pulp. The pulp should be thick enough. So while making pulp, don't add any additional water or milk. Just scoop out the entire pulp from the bowl and our condensed milk so this is a one bowl recipe adding all the ingredients all together whisk 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 and then bake so now whisk until everything combines if you want to get that rich yellow color you can add uh, food safe colors but I don't want to add any additional color even pale color is okay with me why to add any kind of preservative or something there should be no lump so whisk it It's quite thick. So our batter is ready. Time to pour it into the tin. To bake this, I am using this 6 inches ramekin. In case you don't have a, a one large ramekin, you can use three small ramekins. So this portion is sufficient to bake three, uh, three baked yogurt in ramekin, small ramekins. I'm sure you will find this recipe quite easy and fuss free. So this is how I have poured the batter. Now there is a trick how to bake this. Take a large size tray. And place the tin inside. Now 
cover it with aluminium foil only the cake tin the ramekin that we are using just cover it with aluminium foil now there is a reason why we are using this aluminium foil to cover it i will tell you just properly seal it now pour the water into the tin so we need to bake this yogurt using water bath so this will not let it dry or burn from the base so covering it with aluminum foil will white the water getting into the cake tin let's bake it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius for around 35 to 40 minutes so our baked mango yogurt is out from the oven it has baked let's remove the aluminum foil so it is too hot right now I will let it uh, rest in refrigerator for about 2 hours and this will help to set it and then it will taste good you can serve it with uh, some pieces of mango or you can add some nuts this is totally optional but it tastes as good as it is as well okay see it has baked on touching the crust it is firm now so it took exactly 35 minutes to bake it Now I'm going to rest it. After resting of two hours, I will show you how to plate it. Look at this. This is how our baked curd is looking like. Look, it's perfectly set, and I have decorated it with some chopped mango and pomegranate. Let me show you the texture of this now. I'm going to scoop out. Look, look at the texture. It's just like your baked cheesecake. Thanks for watching. If you like this recipe, make sure to subscribe for more. Try this recipe and share your feedback. Start baking at home with anybody can bake. See you next Friday with another exciting recipe video.